Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the JSON transform function introduced in Oracle Database 21C. The JSON transform function makes it easy to amend JSON data in select and update operations. We create a table called T1. It includes a column called JSON data of type JSON. We could have used any supported type to hold the JSON data, such as varchar2, clob, or blob. We populate the table with two rows of test data. The first row contains a JSON object. The second row contains a JSON array. This will be the base data we're amending using the JSON transform function. We're only going to give a few examples of each operation. If you want to see more examples, check out the linked article in the description. In most of the examples, we'll use JSON transform in a query. It can also be used in an update statement. We call JSON transform, passing the name of the column holding the JSON data. We use the set operation to change the value of the quantity element to 20. JSON transform returns a varchar2 4000 for most input types, but for a JSON type it returns a JSON type. So we have to use the returning clause to explain how we want the data to be returned. We ask for it to be returned as a clob and pretty printed to make it easier to read. We're only performing this action for the first row. We can see the output includes a quantity of 20. If we use the set operation to amend an element that isn't already present, the default action is to create it. Here we use the set operation to add a new element called updated date. Values are always treated as scalars unless we tell JSON transform we're using JSON. Here we add a new element called additional info using the JSON constructor to add a JSON object as the value. We can see the new element with the nested structure in the output. We can perform a similar operation using format JSON. In this test we use the second row, which contains a JSON array. We set the quantity to 20 for the first item in the produce array. The insert operation adds a new element to a JSON object. Unlike the default action of set, if the element already exists it will error. Here we use the insert operation to add a new item at the start of the produce array. The array is zero based. We can see the new item is at the start of the array. We can insert the item at the end of the array using the last plus one index. We can see the new item is at the end of the array. Alternatively, we can use the append operation, which always adds the item to the end of the array. The remove operation removes the element specified by the search path. Here we remove the quantity element. We can also remove items from an array. Here we remove the second item from the array using the index 1. The rename operation renames an element. Here we rename the fruit element to fruit name. The replace operation is similar to set, but if the element doesn't already exist, it doesn't get created. Here we set the quantity value to 20. The keep operation removes all elements except those in the comma separated list. Here we only want to keep the fruit element. Multiple operations can be combined into a single call to the JSON transform function. They're processed in order from top to bottom. In this example we use set to add a created date and updated date element. 
we rename the fruit element to fruit type and we replace the value of quantity making it 20. The output includes all those changes. All the examples so far have been queries. We can also use the JSON transform function as part of an update. In this example we update a row in the table using the JSON transform function. We've deliberately kept the example simple. Most of the operations can be modified using handlers. These affect how the operation reacts if an element already exists, is missing, or how nulls are handled. JSON transform is only supported in PLSQL as part of a select or update statement. If you want to use it as part of a variable assignment, you'll have to use a select into from Joule. The linked article contains more examples of these operations, along with their handlers and an example of PLSQL support. Thanks for watching. As always there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.